as we begin to celebrate and as we begin to purchase gifts for one another, I want us to understand that the truths that are revealed around the incarnation reveal to us information about God. We understand as we examine scripture that the promises of God are always true. The purpose of God is always gracious and the power of God is wondrous. So as we begin to celebrate, as we begin to focus on the fellowship between churches and fellowship in our families as we exchange and receive gifts, let us not lose sight that the real meaning of this season is about God and God alone. May we pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, Lord, we come thanking you for this another day that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. And we thank you, Lord, for loving us even in spite of ourselves, Lord. And as we begin to gather ourselves on today, we ask that you touch us from the top of our heads to the soles of our feet. Let us remember that this season is about you. And let us worship you in spirit and in truth. And let us acknowledge the fact that your promises are always true. Your purpose is always gracious and your power is wondrous. Lord, we just want to give you praise and honor on today for simply being a magnificent Lord. We ask you to bless us as we prepare to go forth. We ask you to touch those who are in the hospital. We ask you to put your hands of protection around the children, Lord. We ask you to comfort those who have trouble in their home, Lord, and hold all of us in the palm of your hand, Lord, while you guide us strategically through this process that is going to lead us to our individual and collective purpose. Lord, we just thank you on today. We magnify you because you're good, you're worthy, and you're worthy of all our praise, Lord God. So we give you thanksgiving on today. We bow down, Lord, and we honor you on today because you are the most high God. So right now, Lord, we ask you to equip us, prepare us, we ask you to clean our hearts and our minds as we go forth into this a new day that we have never seen before, Lord, giving you the honor and the praise that is due your name. So we thank you one today. We magnify you one today. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. And I want you to remember that the promises of God are always true. The purpose of God it's always gracious, and the power of God is wondrous. Have a Merry Christmas. God bless you.